basic tools that I use for uh, changing locks as well as other miscellaneous maintenance items. Um, it's a personal preference as far as what kind of tool, uh, toolbox or case uh, that you use. Personally, I like the open type because I can just kind of grab what I need. Uh, a lot of organizing pockets to keep things in. Um, and as far as the tools themselves, uh, as you can see, I mean, don't need to explain uh, all of them, but uh, uh, I've, I've got a couple of cordless screwdrivers with backup batteries, uh, very good to have, backup. Um, the, uh, the lighter is very handy if you get a call and, or, or and you're in a place that you need to light, light any sort of pilot light or, or whatnot. Um, the, uh, and the, as far as the uh, uh, drill bits, you need to have something that's good uh, for cutting through metal, especially if you need to drill any locks. Uh, electric wise, you need a tester. Uh, which is good for testing outlets, uh, especially if they're GFI outlets, uh, basic electrical tester, and this straight line is for measuring dimensions of rooms. Uh, another thing that I found very important, uh, if you need to ever cut a new hole in a, in a door or expand a hole that's in a door if you're changing locks, um, you can do it with a cordless drill. The problem is, is that you end up using a lot of your battery juice, and if you're you've been doing a lot of work with it, you will kill the battery, and, and you may not be able to complete the job. So it's very uh, important to have a corded, a decent corded drill. Um, and the Milwaukee guide I found is is the best one. It's uh, fairly economical, um, but it's uh, the most durable, and uh, I, I found it very useful in terms of. Uh, in terms of guiding for the, the hole drilling. Um, as far as the locks themselves, I found it very helpful to have them organized in milk crates. I keep all of the passage knobs and deadbolts in one, and in the other one I have lock boxes, I've got locking knobs, I've got mailbox locks, uh, I've got um, rim cylinders, and occasionally we have this type of lock that we've put in uh, with a rim cylinder, um, garage door locks, uh, you name it, whatever you come up with. Um, and also found it very helpful to have a five gallon bucket, like the one uh, from Depot, just to throw trash and, and um, uh, miscellaneous old locks that you pull out. Uh, the other thing that I have also carry is a, set of, a good set of bolt cutters. Uh, <laughs> the sledgehammer, I've used it a couple of times, as well as the big pry bar, but it's always helpful to have. Um, and then occasionally, uh, in some areas, you might want to actually uh, brace a door if you've got a vacant property. Uh, this this will fit actually under the doorknob, and it will be able to you'll be able to put it in, especially a back door where somebody might not be able to see somebody too easily, uh, and that way it kind of breaks braces the door so that nobody can kick the door in. Then we have the cores are all organized. I've, I found it very helpful to use one of these boxes that you can get at Home Depot or most hardware stores where you can actually change the change the configuration of all the little cubbies. Um, and I just organize all of my cores here according to series and then just label them on the outside. That way I've got it all at my fingertips. Uh, this uh, key cutter, which will be explained how to use in another video, uh, is uh, very portable, so you can actually take it on the road with you as long as you have a set of uh, key blanks with you and the codes, you can cut the keys on the road. I also use another one of these boxes just for keeping miscellaneous parts because occasionally you'll find something uh, wrong with one of the locks or somebody will damage something or or whatnot and you'll just need an extra extra latch uh, you can also put key tags in key envelopes you, know, you name it so that's pretty much it in a nutshell um, the uh, oh, the very, very important to have in some of the properties that you might go into is to have some uh, either uh, deep woods off or the cutter back woods, uh, something as strong with, uh, with as strong deep content as possible. Uh, that will keep away fleas, 
and other in insects, um, and uh, it is effective against bed bugs.